the main positive and negative terminals. I'm going to just snip these and I'm going to add the uh, XT60 ends on them. Then I'm going to drill a small hole right about here. Have that cable just sit out like that and plug it in. Just did a couple of patches of grass and I had the amp meter going on it and maximum amperage I saw was 25 amps and that was over really, really long the grass. Uh, but it didn't cut out or anything. And I just touched the batteries, a little bit warm, but not as warm as the lead acid one was. And I was touching the wires during the whole thing and uh, they weren't warming up at all. I'm gonna take a voltage reading. When we started, we're at 40.2. It's had a few minutes to settle. We have a reading at 39.2, so. So the next test I'll do when my lawn is actually longer is we'll time, we'll time it and we'll see how long, we'll see how long it takes for me to actually do the mowing. And then maybe we can compare it to the lead acid. But one thing here I noticed, this key thing, Basically, it's this, this shakes right out. That's becoming quite annoying. So I'm gonna see if I can get a solution for that. The rattle just shakes it loose. It shakes loose pretty easily. I don't know if that can just be remedied by pulling the tabs back. As you guys can see, that's how I have them. This is just a test. I'm not, I wanna see the amperage. Power now. Design. So what I ended up doing was extending these, and right here you can see I extended them, and on the end I put the XT60 connector so I can connect it to the series cable to the batteries. I put a little hole in the actual cover so that the cable can come out of and just connect directly to the batteries. And for the battery thing, it's pretty much just a little holder. And that just slips right in. Also, one more thing is I actually just put in put a screw where the uh, key goes because it keeps falling out well, when it when it mows. I guess due to the vi vibration. Got the series connection plugged in. Got that coming out of that hole there. You can see where the screw is and the key. Drop that back down to three. It closes, no problemo. We have green light. We have. Good power and she's good to go. The recent addition, my series cable already had a splice in it, which I which I made for the electric bike a long time ago, and that was to just take a voltage reading. So now what I've done is I've I've got this cable coming up the side here. I have a voltage reading, so now I can see when the battery is getting low, 39.8. And when I flip on the mower, I don't need to really know how the amp's going through here. I just need to know when the batteries need to be recharged. I might replace this with a smaller one, but depending how it fares, I might just leave it. The display on this thing goes wonky sometimes. It's kind of weird. I notice if you bang it or flick it. Anyways, you know, it's from AliExpress. I'll show you what I mean. Well, see, it's fine now. Oh, there it goes. See, there it goes. I don't know, I think it'll get the job done for now anyways. I'll probably just order a straight up voltmeter. We're gonna measure the RPM of the blade with the new battery. 40 volts. 36 points. I'll give this a bit of an indication. Uh, I have my trusty helper with uh, my trusty helper with the camera here, so that'll give us an idea of the difference between the 40 volt and the 36 volt. So let's get started. I'm gonna see a cable. So we're gonna take a voltage reading. What does that read? 41.3. Right. So it's basically a fully charged lithium pack. We're gonna check the RPMs with this crappy thing from China. So we'll see if that works. Now my lovely assistant will hand me the camera. Are you gonna kill yourself? Why is it? Do I need to be closer? I don't want to get too close to this thing. What if it comes flying out or something? Okay, try it again. I got like double the RPM this time. We have uh, right now 8,224 <laughs> 8, RPM. We're going to take that reading again though. We got a different reading. 36. Is it because there's too much light? 
Well, it says not to do it outside, right? Yeah. Why do I want to see the light on it here? We don't want light. No, the camera can pick it up from here. Okay, so we've had to move indoors. There's wires that are We have to move indoors because we're not getting accurate reading, so we're gonna try again inside the garage. Hit it. So yeah, that sounds about right. 4,249. We're gonna do three tests. 4,215. 99. So that's our baseline. It's like 4200 RPM. 4250. 4250. Okay, so now we're going to hook up the old battery and see what the difference is. We're going to take the voltage reading of the old uh, lead acid battery, 36 volt. This should be this should be fully charged. 38.7. 36 volt battery test. Go. You <laughs> <laughs> wear gloves. I realize I'm giving you double the time I said it would you. Okay, so we have some issues with the lead acid battery, so I have to rip it apart and we can do the test again. So this is with uh, 36 volt lead acid. Okay, go. 3,689. Not bad, actually. Not that much lower. Those guys look a little bit toasty. Shoot, I think the, melt, the wire melted a little bit. All right, so I think I melted the little leads there. But anyways, what? Uh, so 3,640... Forty-two and a half. and a half. 36, right? And then this one was 36? That should give you a bit of an idea. Thanks for watching.